Number three, is that the scholar forgot the hadith when he made the judgment. And this is again very difficult. How can a scholar forget a hadith? Okay? Um, I can tell you in my mini capacity, and I'm not, you know, I'm not comparing myself to any of these imams, and I can tell you that there are many times that I memorize a hadith, but when I was asked a question, I wasn't able to bring that hadith to that answer. I didn't relate it, or I forgot it, or something of that sort. SubhanAllah, as soon as I, I went home, I remembered it, and then I called the person back, right? Because sometimes it's there, but it's not there, right? You're just not connecting it to the incident or something of that sort. And Imam al-Dihlawi says, even the Prophet ﷺ forgot. When did he forget? In Salah, for example. The Prophet ﷺ, after Salah, he forgot a verse, and he said to Ubay ibn Ka'b radiallahu anhu, why didn't you remind me of the verse? Why didn't you remind me of the ayah? So he thought that the Prophet ﷺ just simply omitted it, or it was abrogated, and the Prophet ﷺ said, no, you know, I'm a human being, sometimes I forget. So to say that, أعوذ بالله, how could you say that Malik or Abu Hanifa or Shafi'i or, or, or Ahmed could forget is wrong. Or to say that about any Sahabi, or to say it about any scholar. <laughs> and subhanAllah, once again with the Sahaba, we see that one time Umar ibn Khattab and Ammar ibn Yasir, may Allah be pleased with them, they went out on a journey and they woke up in a state of janaba, meaning they needed to do ghusl. They needed to take showers. Now here's the problem. During this travel, and there was this caravan, whatever it was, they, they both needed to do ghusl, and there was no water. So what did they do? Do they do tayammum? What do they do? What do you do if you need to do ghusl, and you're on a plane, and there's no water in the sink? What do you do? Do you just not pray? What's the hukum? What's the ruling? Okay, sisters as well. What do you do if at the time of your tuhur, your purity, there's no water? You do tayammum? How do you do tayammum? Do you put dirt all over your body, or do you just... Do the regular. Okay, so how did that hukum come about? Umar and Ammar didn't know what to do. Ammar radiallahu ta'ala, you know what he did? He started rolling around in the dirt. <laughs> he said, you know, water, he just used his qiyas, he used his reasoning. He said, okay, fine, well that's tayammum for wudu. He said, but we don't know what to do for ghusl. He said, I'm just going to get dirt all over my body. So he started rolling around in the dirt. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu said, forget that, I'll just do ghusl when I get home, and I'll make up the prayer. And that's what Umar radiallahu anhu did. So they b- both took... They're different opinions, <laughs> completely all together. Even the Sahaba of the Prophet ﷺ, they came to the Prophet ﷺ. And Rasulullah ﷺ, when he was asked about it, the Prophet ﷺ, he laughed. And he said, Ya Ammar, it would have been enough for you to just strike the dirt with your hands and wipe your face. You, don't have to, you didn't have to roll around um, in the dirt. Now, uh, Ammar radiallahu anhu, he told people about this hukum and so on and so forth. He mentioned this incident. Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anhu, when he was the Khalifa, and he heard that Ammar was telling people that they don't need to do ghusl if they don't have water, he needed to clarify it. So he brought Ammar back in. And he told Ammar, you know, what is it that you're telling the people about? And he's saying, remember the incident where me and you went out and we were, you know, in a journey and there was a caravan and we didn't know what to do? And Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anhu said, okay, yeah, I remember. Meaning, I remember that incident now. So Ammar brought it back to Umar radiallahu anhu's attention that remember we had this incident, this is where I'm, I'm deriving this hukum from. And what it could mean is that uh, Ammar, when he went to the Prophet ﷺ and asked him about it, Umar was not present. But the point is, is that Ammar went and he reminded Umar of the incident and he told him what happened as a result of that. And Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, are you sure, O Ammar? And he said, yes. And Ammar said, look, if you want, I won't tell anyone anymore. And Umar radiallahu anhu said, no, if you're sure that this is what the Prophet ﷺ told you as a result of that incident, then go ahead and share that. It's okay, you can keep teaching that. So that's number three.